All right, so here we are once again with the BX150. This is the one that we did the uh, the temporary repair on. A lot of people in the comments were telling me that uh, uh, it's never going to work, not going to last for a long time, and it worked pretty good for a while. I mean, it stayed pretty stable. I did some transfers and, and some recordings, and and it seemed to do okay for a bit. And then, you know, eventually it, it fell off. The wheel hardened again. But in the meantime, I had a uh, couple of new tires sent out to us. And we're going to go ahead and put that one on, put one of them on today, and that should take care of this problem, at least for a while, and I'll have a spare. See you, here we go. Sometimes these power screwdrivers are, are more trouble than they're worth. <sighs> All right. and here we are once again back inside. Once again we're going to take the mechanism out. This is actually fairly simple. Okay, so there we go. So what did I do with my screwdriver? Of course it's under here. Why wouldn't it be underneath? It's gonna have to be underneath. That's just the way things go. That's things, that's life down here at the Rattle Bunnies, Dan. Let's see what it's doing now. Um, let me get a little bit of power on this puppy. See that delay there? Shows that the tire is getting uh, tired again. It is moving though. It's just not moving well. And it stops because when it goes the other way, there's no tape in it. So the counter doesn't go up, so it automatically stops. And if we hit play, it still does okay. But you can hear a slip now. So. It definitely needs to be replaced. All right, let's kill the power. All right, so to get the old wheel off. This will be my first time doing this this procedure on this deck, so I'm not really certain as to the best way to do this. I know I have to be careful. Yeah, that's not gonna work. All right. So it's back in there now. Um, it takes some finagling. These are not the easiest things in the world to get in there. And you really need to be careful because this entire assembly is at best nylon. At worst, it's plastic that's probably as brittle as the old belt here. Um, that belt just is... you can tell how hard that belt is. So, alright, let's get some power on it again and see if we have any improved... Uh, motion here. Motion, is that it? Motion? Yeah, motion. And when we fast forwarded before, it had a bit of a delay, so here we go. No delay this time. Let's 
get a tape to play with. It's a 90 minute tape. Moving that, no problem. Happy to play it. Okay, we'll do a play test a little bit later. And there's that for that. We just have to put the top back on and you guys saw how that comes off. So uh, this is the Onkyo TARW 311. I got this wonderful little machine at Goodwill for $5. All I've done to it is clean it up a little bit. Looks like it's been dusty for a while. But it does operate. And it seems to work pretty well. Doesn't have near the problems that my old Nakamichi has. However, this is not near the deck that the old Nakamichi is. Any of you fans of Nakamichi like me will know that Onkyo, well, it is a good deck. It is decent. It's not near the quality of a Nakamichi. And you'll notice that there are very few Nakamichis that have a dual well tape deck. They're not into the gimmicky things. And this is really kind of gimmicky. I mean, it's got normal and high speed dubbing on it. It's, it does a fairly okay job. It's fine for playing back old tapes or maybe recording the radio, that sort of thing. But, you know. Uh, this isn't something that I would uh, necessarily put in an audio file uh, system. Um, personally, I really appreciate the quality of Nakamichi, although I do respect Donkyo. That said, let's get a closer look at this puppy. Let's take it apart. This one has a screw on the back as well. I'm just going to buzz that, buzz that out real quick. That's the first time I've been in this. I have not taken this apart yet. Uh, I did get this a while ago, but this is uh, new to the bench anyway. All right. This doesn't look to be too bad on the inside. Some dirt. Check on the belts. The belts don't seem to be too bad. Still pretty pliable. Yeah, that's not terrible. That's one well. It's like a lot of it has plugs in it. It's very well laid out. All of the caps in this one are Nichicon. 
That Ankyo chip, chip has a date code on it of 23rd week of 96. And yeah, 14th week of 96. This other chip here. So basically, what's going to happen with this guy here is, uh, you know, it's it was made in uh, 96, I believe. I'm looking for a date code on the back. I don't see anything specific. you guys out there know of anything that uh, in particular that goes wrong with this deck if you want feel free to get in touch be happy to to look over anything uh, this looks like it runs on the same idle wheel sort of technology as the the Nakamichi but then a lot of things did back then and they seem to be behaving um, Tell you what, why don't we just, uh, I'm going to put this back together and we will head into a, uh, a playtest real quick. Alright, so here we are. It's back in the stereo rack where it should be. This is just a tape that was recorded off the radio back, way back in 87. Hopefully I won't get uh, copyright problems with it, but here we go. And again, it's not going to sound the best because it ain't what you say, it's off the, the radio. Way that you say it to John and Marcia. There's a whole soap opera wrapped up in that famous D minute disc by Stan Freeberg. And we also heard from the Thorndike Pickle Dish Choir featuring the many voices of Robert O. Smith and the ballad of Walter Wart, the Freaky Frog, a comedy gem from 1966. Hey, Ed in Oregon and Keith in California just won themselves Dr. Demento t-shirts when we played their calls back on the air. You have a chance to win, too, when you call the Dr. Demento request line, which number is 1-213-652-8028. Call now while the rates are low, but you can call any time you get in the mood. Here's that number again, 1-213-652-8028. Five two eight zero two eight. Tell me what you want to hear. We'll be hearing from Weird Al right after this. Hello, this is Weird Al Yankovic, and you're listening to the Doctor Demento Show. The reason radio was invented. I told you a million times how I love you. And yeah, that's it. It's uh, that's all I can show of that. Actually, got music on it, so that's. I had it faded out, but uh, it seems to be operating properly again, and I'm glad it's back in the rack. So next we'll take a look at the next tech deck. Tech deck? Deck. We can take a look at the next deck. Just came out of the Nakamichi. Recorded the same recording that we had before, but I just re-recorded it. Again, that's off a, uh, a CD that's a recording of a Dr. Demento show from 1987. This was recorded on the Nakamichi. This is what it sounds coming out of the play deck on this one. There's a whole soap opera wrapped up in that famous demented disc by Stan Freeberg. And we also heard from the Thorndike Pickle Dish Choir featuring the many voices of Robert O. Smith and the ballad of Walter Wart, the Freaky Frog, a comedy gem from 1966. Hey, Ed in Oregon and Keith in California just won themselves Dr. Demento t-shirts when we played their calls back on the air. You have a chance to win, too, when you call the Dr. Demento request line, which number is 1-213-652-8028. Call now while the rates are low, but you can call any time right. you get in. That's... That's that deck. And this is what the other deck sounds like. We'll see if this has any trouble. This is my first play test of this as well. Marcia. 
there's a whole soap opera wrapped up in that famous demented disc like I said Dan Freeberg. the five dollar items that you might pick up featuring the many voices of Robert cassette Boy decks Smith and stuff like that the sometimes they're in really good shape this is like five dollars from Goodwill hey Ed in Oregon and Keith in California just won themselves Dr. Demento t-shirts when we played their calls back on the air you have a chance to win too when you call the Dr. Demento request line which number is one two one three six five two eight zero two eight call now while the rates are low but you can call any time you get in the mood here's that number again one two one three six five two eight zero two eight tell me what you want to hear we'll be hearing from weird al right after the hello this is weird al yankovic and you're listening to the dr demento show the reason radio was invented <laughs> I told you a million times how I love you. The honey, your old fiddle heart won't let me in. All right. It works great. It's a good deck. Five bucks, can't go wrong. So, uh, yeah. As always, thanks for watching.